Hi, I'm Adumbar Bhatkar and this is lecture 9 of the module Water. In this lecture, we are going to solve some numericals on geolite process. Here is the first numerical. If you read the problem carefully, you can see that hardness of water sample is given. That is 250 ppm. Also, quantity of NaCl used for regeneration of exhausted geolite bed that is 50 liters and concentration of NaCl solution that is 150 grams per liter and quantity of water softened we have to calculate. So, in this type of numericals, quantity of NaCl used for regeneration of exhausted geolite bed and concentration of NaCl will be given. And if hardness of water is given, you may need to find out the quantity of water and suppose the quantity of water is given, we need to calculate for hardness of water. So in either case, First, we need to focus on the concentration of NaCl, that is 150 grams per liter here. Yeah. So, 1 liter of NaCl solution contains 150 gram of NaCl. And total quantity of NaCl solution U, that is 50 liters. So, 1 liter contains 150 gram of NaCl. So, 50 liters of NaCl solution contains 150 into 50, that is 7500 grams of NaCl. So, if I convert this gram into milligrams, I will get 7500 milligrams of NaCl. That is the total concentration of NaCl use for regeneration of exhausted geolite bed and if you check the reaction you can see that to regenerate one molecule of geolite we require two molecules of NaCl so if I want to convert this concentration of NaCl use for regeneration of geolite bed I need to use the formula for CAC3 equivalent hardness. So hardness of water in terms of CAC3 equivalents is equal to concentration of NaCl into molar mass of CaCO3 upon 2 into molar mass of NaCl because here we require twice the concentration of NaCl. So 2 into 58.5 that is molar mass of NaCl. So here we'll get the concentration of salts in terms of CaCO3 equivalents. That means this much concentration of salts was removed by this geolite softener. And we know that the hardness of water that is 250 ppm that means 250 milligrams per liter that means one liter of water contains 250 milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent hardness so as the zeolite softener removed this much concentration of CAC3 equivalent hardness we can calculate the quantity of water softened by divide this concentration with the concentration per liter that means hardness so we will get the quantity of water in liters here is one more numerical 800 liters of raw water was softened by geolite softener after it got exhausted it required 40 liters of NaCl solution containing 110 grams per liter of NaCl for its regeneration 
and we need to calculate for hardness of water. So again, the quantity of NaCl is given and concentration of NaCl. Now here the quantity of water soften is given and asked for hardness of water. So again, we need to follow the same steps to get the answer. So first, we need to check for the concentration that is 110 grams per liter. So 1 liter of NaCl solution contains 110 grams of NaCl. That means 40 liters of NaCl solution contains 4400 grams of NaCl. So for 40 liters, if I convert this concentration of NaCl into milligrams, you will get this. And then you have to calculate the CAC3 equivalents. It is concentration of NaCl into 100 that is molar mass of calcium carbonate upon 2 into molar mass of NaCl. So the concentration of salts in terms of CAC3 equivalents will get that indicates the hardness for 800 liters of water sample. So if you want to calculate the hardness for 1 liter sample that means hardness in ppm we need to divide this whole concentration of salts removed by the zeolite solvent by the quantity of water. So we will get the hardness of water in milligrams per liter that is 0.800.85 ppm. Here are some numericals for practice. Thanks for watching.